everybody and welcome back. We are with Juventus on a streak of wins, as it says in the middle. And it also says Dybala is going to be transferred, which is nonsense. Of course he's not. He's one of my favourite players. Um, rocking the Folkestone Invicta kit today. Long time no see for Folkestone Invicta. My hometown club all the way back in the southeast of England. Yeah, not, not too bad. We are three points clear of Milan at the top of the table after that first loss where, you know, questionable refereeing uh, happened. Loves all your comments, by the way. Um, yeah, three points ahead of Milan. 18 wins, zero draws, six losses. That is the only loss we've had since taking over. It's been... It's been very good, actually. Let's dive into it and have a look at the results, um, and then we'll get into the... Oh, the joys of the transfer window. We'll, we'll go through it in a minute. Yeah, so we were together... For the 1-0 loss against Inter Milan, we followed that up with a 5-3 first leg win against Spau and then a 4-1 second leg win against Spau. They, you know, the AI just goes a bit crazy in the Cups, doesn't it? It sends people forward when they're behind. So we got a very easy 9-4 aggregate win against Spal. We followed that up with a 1-0 win against Atlanta, a 1-0 win against Torino, and then we played Spal again, beat them 4-1 again. Uh, and then we've just beat Genoa 4-0, which is going to take us to the... Second to last day of the transfer window. Uh, then we'll have the last day of the transfer window. And then we're going to play Lazio. So it should be interesting. In the next round of the cup, we have drawn Atalanta. So a tough game, but someone that we can definitely, definitely beat. Um, into the transfer news then. So it's all been a little bit changed. Um, we've sold Bentasur to Tottenham, which I know may not be the ideal transfer but they paid his release fee so there's not much we could do so we had to go out and get another central midfielder in as you can see goalkeepers we managed to sell a goalkeeper um we've not bought in another center back yet because we've actually got these are all pretty good i might look to potentially move one of them on and bring another one in um sandro and pellegrini still at right back des corona and Rosalco are the right back sorry pellegrini and sandro are the left backs we have bought in Milankovic Savic, who our scouts found, and he's 30, so he's not getting any younger, but uh, tall, very good people, everyone knows about SMS, he's a very, very good central midfielder, he comes in as the main replacement for Bentasur, because Tottenham paid his release fee, there was nothing I could do, we bought him Milankovic Savic for like 28 million, I think it was, uh, and we sold Bentasur for... 56? Something like that. So we've made quite a lot of money. Uh, we've also bought in Elmas as well from Bayern Munich, who was recommended in the chats before, in the comments before. So Elmas comes in. Good. A really good youngster. Really happy to bring him in. I'm sort of seeing him as a replacement for Rabiot and Ramsey. So that's not a problem. And, and to be honest, I would say our starting central midfield is probably now SMS and Elmas. Two new signings. So we'll see how that goes. Um, Zergzi has joined. But other than that, We've sold a few sort of bit part players that have gone. Uh, Bernadeschi's got an offer on him at the moment from Arsenal, which we'll go and have a look at in a second. Uh, but yeah, Xerxes joined. Xerxes done okay. He started okay. The big, the big one, the big one is that we now have an offer for Cristiano Ronaldo. So Chesney, we've we've cancelled that. We're not selling him. Romero, we're not selling him. Uh, De Vinter, I'm not selling him. We've called him off. Uh, caught, we've broken off that. But we do have Bernadeschi, who we've we've negotiated to say if they pay us 13 million, 13.8 million, we'll probably let him go. Um, mainly because of his age. I mean, he's still very good, but we'll see what they come back with. And then Cristiano Ronaldo. We've asked for a Blitzer Eze, who is now at West Ham, and 20, well, and 10, 10 million, pretty much. So, we're going to see what they say. If they come back with that as an offer, I will accept it. But I'm not too confident about what they're going to say. So let's see what happens. So there you go. On the headline news, negotiations over Cristiano Ronaldo break down. That's a, I, I was sort of expecting that. I don't think they were really that interested in bringing him in. And uh, oh, Arsenal have responded with a counter offer for Bernadeschi. So again, I'd quite like someone, I think... I see 11, 11 million is not brilliant. But can we potentially get someone off them for uh, 11, someone who's worth roughly 11 million? Maybe a younger player that we can that we can go with. Uh, let's go overall rating, descending. So, I mean, we're looking at Vardy, 38. Mertens, 38. Uh, Damari Gray, was at Arsenal at 29. 
Mustafi, Chambers, Kalasanach, Smith, Rowe. Wow, he is not worth very... Oh, that's his release fee. He is not worth very much. Wow, why... Does he not progress in the game? No, obviously not. Only 76 rated still. Balassi, Holding. Yeah, I mean, there's not... They've not got a very good squad, actually. They haven't really been upgrading it. Mesut Ozil. Um, a young Mesut Ozil is there. 19 years old. 79 rated playmaker. Bloody hell. No, okay. They've not really got anyone I want. So I think we're going to have to... Uh, 14 million. Give us 14 million and Bernadeschi's yours. I, I, I'm not too sure who we look to, to bring in, if anyone. They've made another counter offer. It will probably be similar. And if it's a similar price, I'm just going to reject it. Because Bernadeschi still has a job. Definitely still has a job to do. Uh, in our in our team, I know he's not the best, but yeah, eleven million. It's not it's not good enough. No, nope. end negotiations. We're not we're not having that. You, we're not taking him for eleven million. So, in terms of oh my word, there was something I needed to tell you. Scouts, um, our scouts found Neymar. Really tempted to bring him in. Thirty three year old Neymar, really injury prone, really really good. A 33-year-old Neymar. He's worth 92 million. I just don't think it's... I just don't think it's really feasible. What's his current salary? 447,000. If we... Yeah, he wants 390 grand a week. No, we can't do that. We can't do that. We cannot do that. Sorry, Mr. Uh, Mr. Neymar. Yes, they've, they also found Saar from Cagliari, who we bought to Cagliari. The, the scouts have done okay. Like, Rodriguez looks pretty good. Um, this Rodriguez here, 25-year-old, 85-rated winger from Vela Sarsfield. Oh, he, might, he might be worth a go. He's got a cheap salary. 52 million. We can, we can not... Yeah, 47, I'd probably pay that for him. 76 million release fee. Yeah, let's get him in. Yeah, why not? We'll get him in as a right winger. He looks very good, actually. Rodriguez could give a bit of competition for Bernadeschi on that side. Um... They want 51 million. Okay. I mean, that's a... It's a lot of money. We've got money, though. We have got money. We'll even, we're will not going to go for that one just yet. Let's go and look at the listed players. So, Salasu is definitely someone I'd like to bring in. But at the moment, we've bought in Elmas. So, we can take him uh, off the list. Dybala now plays for us. So, we can take him off the list. Smolcic, I think. It's between Smolcic and Salasu for another centre-back, I think. I think Benkovic is just not really at the at the list of the of the standard we need. I don't need a goalkeeper, so we're going to remove him from the list at the moment. Gabriel Veron. Ah, Gabriel Veron. I wonder how he compares to Rodriguez. I think Rodriguez is better. Gabriel Veron's much cheaper though. Not sure. Gonzalez, we don't need Gonzalez on the list anymore either because we bought in Zerxy. Kakare, I don't think we need him because of Milinkovic, Savage, and Elmas. We'll leave him on there for now. Tenali, I quite like the idea of buying and bringing in Tenali. And Kakare has such a low release fee. See, Smolic's release fee is 9 million and Salasu's 28. We could potentially bring in both of them, to be honest, and just have loads of cover. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what we can potentially do. So the club is open to the idea of selling the player to us. So if we can get him even cheaper, let's go, just try. we'll try a cheeky 1.8. That's fine. We'll try a cheeky 1.8 for Smolic. Because I like the idea of having lots of options at the centre-back. Yeah, good. Oh, delete from Man United. Paletta. Right, Paletta can go and we're going to bring in um, Smolic and Salasu, I think. I do want to bring in Rodriguez as well. And I think I'm going to do it. I think we're going to go and bring them all in. Smolich and Rodriguez, definitely. We've just got to make sure we've got time to do everything. Delict is 78. I can't really sell Delict, can I? I can't really sell Delict. So we're going to cancel that one. Ronaldo. Yeah, the comment, that's failed. We knew that anyway. Paletta. For 10 million? A 10 million? I think I should just let him go. No, don't bother. We don't need the money. So it's going to... It's gonna, oh. I don't know if we're going to have enough time to do all these deals. 
Rodriguez is the key one. We're going to bring in Rodriguez. With three hours to go, we're going to... Uh, not in there. Where am I going in there for? We're going to then go... Do I confirm Smolich? That will take two hours and it closes in three hours. Man, the transfer window is so bad in Pez, like the deadline day. It's so bad. How long does it take to confirm the sale of Paletta? Oh, so it's going to take two hours. I don't think you can do anything in the last hour. Why does it take two hours to confirm to sell someone? You just tell them they're gone. Sign the paperwork and they're done. Right, we're going to bring in the player first. I think that's the better way to do it. Yeah, see, it flows in one hour. And then you come back to this page and you can't actually do anything, I don't think. Uh, my team... Paletta's not going to get any game time. So Salasu, I think, is on our radar for... Yeah, like... like he'll be He'll be released. Oh, last contract negotiation. Oh, okay, so you can do it like that. So Paletta goes, we get a bit of money back for him. Um, we keep Ronaldo, we bring in a new winger. A bit out of the blue, actually, Rodriguez. He was just found by the scouts, so I think that's a good idea. But it's a bit of a new-look squad. It keeps the core pretty much at the same. Um, the biggest move, Milinkovic-Savic from, from Lazio, for us, the Lazio. Davis has joined Roma from Rangers. Um, hopes are high for the goal king, Cristiano Ronaldo. And is Chesney to be transferred? No, he is not. He's definitely not to be transferred. But yeah, so... Well, a few deals happening there on deadline day. I didn't expect it to be that, that busy, I think. We are sticking with this sort of 3-5-2 formation. It seems to be working now that everything's settled down a little bit. So, uh, Rodriguez will obviously come on the bench. Bernadeschi, Ramsey can come off for Mount. Smolich can just... At the moment, we'll just leave it like this because it's obviously going to be down to um, form arrows as well. Right, so we've got two centre-backs, which is probably a bit overkill on the bench. So, I think I'd rather have... Although... Yeah, no, we'll just do a straight swap, actually. Smolich for like that, and then we'll go like that. So, goalkeeper on the bench, Charisma, Smolich, Pellegrini, Dest... Locatelli, Rabio, Mount, Kulusevski, Bernadeschi, Rodriguez. Now, I know it looks like I've got three right wingers here, but these are all very versatile. Bernadeschi can play on either side, Kulusevski can play all across the front, and Rodriguez can play either side as well. So it gives us options. Xerxy. Yeah, could have Ramsey on the bench, but he is slowly becoming one of the worst central midfielders at the club. But yeah, and you can see here, so still a 90 rated, but we bring in Romero, Demiral, Delict, Elmas, Milligan, Savic, Corona, Sandro, Dybala. I think actually. Okay, Bernadeschi drops us off a little bit. But he probably is better out there. And then we've got... Yeah, okay, these all pull us up a little bit. We've also got Luca, who's up for it. Hmm. Lazio playing their 3-5-2. They'll, they'll be a tough opponent. They'll be a tough opponent. Um, we'll leave it like that for now. I guess Xerxes might come in ahead of Isaac. If you, by the way, if you take out Cristiano Ronaldo, look at the drop in chemistry because of his captaincy. Unbelievable, unbelievable. So basically, he has to play every game. Uh, Sergio Romero might get a run out as well because Chesney's tired and on a down form. But anyway, let's get into the game. We'll be back for kickoff. So hello everybody, welcome back to the Juventus Allianz Stadium, and we're at home against Lazio for this one today. A few changes in the lineup. Sergio Romero comes in. Chesney dropped completely from the team due to. Match fitness, we'll put it as an illness. Why not? We'll say he's got an illness. Form and match fitness is what actually rules him out. Uh, a couple of new signings. Rodriguez comes in for his debut for this one. Um, a lot of fanfare around him with the big money spent, around £50 million pounds on him. So it should be an interesting, interesting game. Um, we'll go through the lineups as, as soon as we're ready. So the home team, then Juventus, Romero in goal. Delic, Demidal and Romero at the back. Milinkovic, Savic and Elmas at a new partnership in central midfield with Mason Mount. Rodriguez and Pellegrini, Dybala and Ronaldo start up front. Lazio line up with Perin in goal. Acerbi, Jose Font and Luis Felipe at the back. Lazari, Papa Diop, Papa can't be him. And Fares in midfield, Zaracho and Maximovic behind Sacido and Tyrese Cam. Campbell signed from Stoke City. But the game is just about ready to go, so let's get into it. And it is Juventus that kick us off underway. Kick us off underway. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. As a new signing, Milinkovic-Savic on the ball, early doors, up to 
Rodriguez looking to just show what he can do to these Juventus fans and they'll be expecting quite a lot for him I imagine as uh, Pellegrini into Mount just lays that one back to Milinkovic Savic tries to go back towards Mason Mount it's a good header away Rodriguez challenges well and SMS can keep this one going go on have the strength he has got the strength Savage puts the ball towards the middle Dybala went for the acrobatic it's a very very frantic start from uh, from Juventus here Pellegrini into the new signing Rodriguez uses his body well to hold off Fares and can look to accelerate down the line Rodriguez just holding off Zaracho who's come to put on a bit of pressure there's a man on the edge it's Milinkovic Savage good first touch tries to give it back to Rodriguez but cleared away Positive start from Juventus. Thrown in, throw in, taken quickly, and Rodriguez picked up a bit of space again. Not the best cross, though. Probably needs to go more, a bit more towards the near post to try and find Ronaldo with that one, rather than at the back post for Dybala, as Fares and Luis Philippe try and just uh, retain a little bit of possession. Up long towards Philippe Salcido. Here is Diop. He'll be looking over the top towards Campbell, but De Ligt can cover that one. It's a very easy little uh, header back to Romero, who gets his first touch, and... Bowls it out to Rodriguez. Rodriguez can come forward. Not too much pressure on him at the moment. Milinkovic Savage drops off for an option into Mason Mount. Pellegrini comes in for a bit of a rare start and he just bundles his way past Lazari really well. Pellegrini could be in here. Cuts it across. Oh, Perrin sticks out a foot. I don't think Perrin was expecting a low cross like that and he gets a good touch on it. Zaracho out to Fales. Again, it's a very positive start from Ju Juventus. Tidies Campbell. So Zido, oh, he's turned Romero. Tries to put it out, but Pellegrini's back there and defends very, very well. Rodriguez up towards Ronaldo. Puts it into space back to Rodriguez. It's a battle of the paces. Well, Rodriguez wins it. He gets there first to dimp it in towards Mason Mount. It's going to come back out to Rodriguez. Acrobatic effort. And it hits the back stanchion, and Perrin knew nothing about that one. Rodriguez, great pace to get on this ball. Just stood it up into the middle towards Mason Mount. Header away, back towards Rodriguez, outside the box. Good effort, past the post. Of course, the biggest rumour of the January transfer window that Zlatko Zahovic was trying to bring in uh, Neymar at one point for this Juventus team, which would have been a, a bit ludicrous as a front line with Dybala, Ronaldo and Neymar. But uh, wages were a sticking point. It, it didn't happen. The agent said they were trying to make a deal. You know, Fabrizio Romano said it was very close to a here we go, but... Uh, the wages were a bit of a stumbling block for the, the PSG superstar. And, uh, well, they looked elsewhere, didn't they, Juventus? Bringing in Rodriguez, Milinkovic, Savic, Elmas as well. And uh, it's, it seems to be working in their favour at the moment as Ronaldo picks out that new man, Rodriguez, again. And his pace just gets him away from Fares, who gets back and wins the ball, but can only put it out for a corner. 25 minutes gone. Mason Mount over this one here. Have we got... Oh, let's get, let's, let's have, let De Ligt have a go at this front post. Maybe he can flick it on towards Ronaldo. As the ball goes in, De Ligt does win the header. Ronaldo is there. The keeper saves it. Dybala with a free header. Perrin, what a save from Perrin in goal for Lazio. I honestly thought that was in from Dybala. De Ligt with a flick on. Ronaldo wins the header. Dybala, Perrin out of nowhere. What a save. What a save. Right, it's another corner. Let's try that. Let's try that again. See if we get the same results as uh, we're going to run De Ligt. Up towards Fares again. The Lick can just stand inside the six yard box. This time it does flick it on a bit too close to the keeper. Spills it. And it's cleared away. And Elmas will just try and knock it back into the area. But not enough on the header. Cleared away. Coming up to half an hour gone. It's all been Juventus. But just cannot find the breakthrough at the moment. De Ligt looking to bring the ball out from the back. Linkovic Savage making a great run forward. Diop read it though. Goes back towards Perrin who uh, can clear that one away. De Ligt then wins the header down towards Mason Mount. Back to De Ligt. And he's got Rodriguez in front of him. Not a good pass, though. They're giving us a lot of space to bring the ball out from the back with the centre-backs. And I think that's an option we're going to have to do to just commit a few more uh, numbers forward, potentially. As, uh, oh, I thought I'd read that one with Dybala. Jose Font. I really hope it's not a regen and that it's the really old Jose Font because it means we'll be able to outpace him at some point. As uh, Lazari's there, Luca Pellegrini's absolutely robbed him. He's done a really good job, Pellegrini, and holds the man off as well. Can he put the cross in? Oh, they just got numbers back. And Lazari makes up for his earlier mistake. It goes all the way up towards Tyrese Campbell. Demonau looks to come and put a bit of pressure on him. Saicedo lays a good ball out towards Lazari, who's getting up and down that wing as best he can. But Romero with a good tackle. He gets it away towards Mason Mount. Here is Pellegrini again. Dybala's pulled a little bit wider. 
Holds on to the ball. Dybala there. Looks to spread it across. A bit of a mix up where that was meant to go, but he wins a free kick. So the lick stands over the ball. I think we're just going to potentially play this one just, just safe. We're going to take it short. Try and move it across. Elmas, Milinkovic, Savic. Lovely little double touch to get round one. Can he put the ball through? Oh, he nearly did. He, well, he got through to Dybala. Just couldn't get that first touch to create enough space for a shot. But, yeah, good to see Milinkovic Savic uh, getting on the ball and making some dangerous passes. As Well, Lazari's going to run himself into a corner here. Throw in five minutes to go in the first half. Again, I, I can't... Have Lazio had a shot? I don't think they have. Mason Mount can pick this one up. He's got a man running inside him. It is Milinkovic Savic just runs into Salcedo. And look how defensive... Lazio strikers have got to be. They're, they're bringing this one back as Ronaldo oh, nearly gets the interception. Fares, where's he going to go? He's going to turn backwards again to Luis Philippe. He goes long, but that's not a good pass. Milinkovic Savic can try and pick out Dybala, but Jose Font gets onto the ball first. Zaracho out to Maximovic, and Lazio will be delighted to go in nil nil at half time, you feel, because it has all been Juventus. Or is there going to be a sting? In the tail here. And our Lazio going to mount one attack into the second. No, they're not. Romero, easy catch. And we might have just enough time to get this forward. Not with a pass like that, we won't. Nil-nil. Half time. We've been the better team. So into the second half. Don't feel like we need to change anything, really. Um, we've been on top. I expect Lazio to come at us a little bit more. But uh, that's not a good pass, is it? Dybala can pick that one up. Back to, to uh, Pellegrini. He's going to go up the line. I think I've overhit that. No, oh, we have overhit it. Lazari on the right-hand side for Lazio. Probably their best bit of possession in the game. And they've actually got in behind Pellegrini, who comes back to make a good recovery. Dybala can win that one. Elmas into Ronaldo. Just holds off Diop quite easily, but can't get the pass off. And Tyrese Campbell has space. Demerel with a fantastic block on that one. Rodriguez into Pellegrini. Just uses his strength really well to hold off Lazari. Not too many options for him, though, and he's had to hold on to the ball, and he's done a good job of it. Mason Mount. Milinkovic Savic. Tried to get that in towards Ronaldo. He does flick it round the corner to Rodriguez. Referee says play on. I could really do with Ronaldo getting up. Ronaldo, get up. Get up, Ronaldo. There we go. That's why I wanted you to get up, to give me that run down the line. And I waited all that time, and then I passed it off for a goal kick. Unbelievable. Substitution, though. Sido Immobile off the bench. What a sub that you can bring on there for Tyrese Campbell for Lazio. As, um, yeah, look at that. Milinkovic Savic, 11 passes attempted, 5 successful. That's not brilliant, but he is trying to make a lot of uh, forward passes to make a difference. That's a good tackle. Um, probably could have been a free kick, but the referee says, nah, just a throw. As Fares tries to take it, Rodriguez isn't up quick enough. Dybala with a foot, another throw into Lazio. Elmas picks up the ball in central midfield into Mason Mount. Not too many options on, just uses... Milinkovic Savic, he goes up towards Ronaldo. Oh, it's a good tackle from Jose Font. I saw Mason Mount making a great run through the middle. I was going to try and do a, a little turn and pass into his into his footsteps, but didn't quite work. As a, a Serbi fires that one up towards Salcedo under pressure from Romero. Zaracho takes over into Diop. That's a good ball to find in Moble. That's not a good pass. And Chesney can come and pick that one up. Not Chesney because he's uh, dropped for today, isn't he? Romero can pick that one up. He goes out towards. Pellegrini. Good little touch to bring that one down. Pellegrini can come forward. Milinkovic Savic is there. Savic, oh, again, looking for Ronaldo. And he's, I'm going for the risky passes with, with Savic because I know he's got some good passing attributes and passing stats. But if you don't get them close enough to the player on full manual, it doesn't help you out. 20 minutes to go. Nil, nil. Lazio have basically gone into a bit of a shell of keeping possession. And it's where well, it was working for them. But it's not anymore. Mount. Up towards Ronaldo. Tries to poke it through. Oh, it's just that last little touch. Oh, Ronaldo's done really well. Oh, Ronaldo. I put second man press and it nearly worked fabulously. Salcedo with a good touch to take it away from danger. But Pellegrini will pick that one up. Nobody fancied going to the ball, though, in a Juventus shirt, which is very annoying. I'd say Pellegrini's probably been our man of the match at the moment. He's uh, He's been a good little outlet. He's fought back well defensively. So we'll see those there. The Pellegrini's there again. He allows Romero to win the ball. Romero gives it away. Lazari. Oh, Pellegrini with another fantastic challenge. Pellegrini's got a lot of space to run into here. And if Dybala can carry on running in a different direction, that would be really useful. Pellegrini puts it in. Milinkovic Savic was waiting. Cleared away. Delict is there. First time pass out towards Rodriguez. In towards 
Ronaldo, Milinkovic, Savic. Oh, he's lining up a shot and they just got a block on it. Very irritating. Maximovic. Back to Jose Font. It's been a good game. Only, again, 10 minutes to go. We've not made any subs. Sort of need the ball to, uh, to go out. Maximovic gives it away again. Demiral is there to intercept. Luca Pellegrini holds off his man and looks for Ronaldo, who's looking tired, but we just can't afford to take him off. It affects the team spirit so much. Alcido, Zeracho, Immobile. Someone's got to go out to Fadas because we need to mark Immobile. Okay, I've got to go now. Dimmer is there. It's going to go back in towards Immobile. He didn't get enough chance to turn and shoot, so Delict can pick the ball up and goes a bit more direct towards Ronaldo. Dybala's made a great run through the middle. Dybala could be in. Jose Fonts managed to catch him up. You're both so slow. That is ridiculous. Unbelievable. The one time we needed absolute raw pace. And Jose Font catches Paolo Dybala. And oh, that was the chance. We'd waited patiently. It was a long, like, direct little ball up. Five minutes to go. We have to get some subs on. I mean, Ronaldo's absolutely shattered. But we just can't afford to, to take him off. Xerxes going to come on. Let's quickly have a look. Who else we could do? I mean, we'll take off Rodriguez. He's had a good debut. And we'll go Mason Mount for Isaac. And then we'll just do that. And then we're going to tell for the last few minutes. It's not going to be long at all. But Cristiano, just don't come back. Don't track back. So a triple substitution. Rodriguez, really good debut. I th he felt really good to use. Bernadeschi comes on. Mount off Isaac on. Um, Xerxes already come on as well, so yeah, hopefully I don't know, hopefully it'll, with five minutes to go okay, everybody, I think everybody's missed that I think that's good, that should be a goal kick yeah, it is a goal kick, so five minutes to go we do have now three very tall people all up the pitch in Xerxes, Ronaldo and uh, Isaac, as Xerxes well, does win that one really well and Isaac's first involvement, it's the pokeball through to the other substitute, it's Bernadeschi Bernadeschi, oh What a wasted opportunity. Bernadeschi should be putting that on target at least. Isaac, uh, Xerxes wins the header. Isaac just poked it through. Bernadeschi's there. Oh, I've gone for that near post and hit the side netting. Trying to put lots of pressure on as Lazio look to keep the ball at the back. I've gone a bit too early there with Milinkovic Savic and Immobile turns away. But look at that from Delic. That's why we didn't sell him to Man United after that big money offer. Milinkovic Savic can. Bring this one forward. Has he got options? He looks for Ronaldo. He can poke that one out towards Luca Pellegrini, who is starting to retreat as he thought he had lost possession. And with two minutes injury time, it looks like this is going to be nil-nil. And if you're a Lazio fan, you've got to be happy with that because we have been on top in this game. We haven't, again, we haven't created a lot of clear-cut chances, but we've definitely been the better team. But nil-nil is how it ends. Uh, Milan, I think, can't go top. I think we'll be staying top. Nil-nil against Lazio. Yeah, only three shots. We defended really well, but it's just the, the chances of, of putting what we create on net and, and getting rebounds and stuff like that. Man of the match for them is Zeracho. Uh, I'm interested to see what they gave Pellegrini. A 6.5. I think he was better than that, but yeah. The new boys felt good. Um, the new boys did feel good. Milan won one nil, so... It is going to be close at the top, down to a point as we get to the business half of the season. But yeah, that was... Uh, Milinkovic Savic felt good. Elmas felt good. I feel like there's a lot we can build on there. Um, and it's just a case of... I think what the results show is that it's much easier to play this game without commentary. Especially on full manual, because I create so much more. But, you know, that's how it is. That's what I, I love doing this save. It's very, very good. But... Yeah, when will we be back for the next episode? I think I said it would be the Champions League. Yeah, we'll do um, either Napoli or Parma. We'll see how the table's looking when we get there. But it's not far away, actually, is it? It's only four or five games. And then the first knockout round, first leg against Man City, where I'm hoping they will be attacking and we can get in and exploit places, uh, places behind them. So, yes, we'll leave there. The winning streak is halted at six, which isn't too bad, to be honest. But one point ahead of Milan, still top of the table. The transfer window is done. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. But for now... I'm out. Cheers.